How we doing folks, your host Moose here on your Around the NCA recap show on the Pitt Panthers Football Network. We're recapping conference championship week here in season one of our Pitt Panthers dynasty. And unfortunately, your Pitt Panthers fell to Clemson by a single touchdown. They had a chance to mount a tying drive in the final minute, but unfortunately turned the ball over with a fumble on the Clemson 15-yard line to stunt that drive out and you know, end in a loss. But it was an unbelievable game. Just a fantastic game all around. But fair play to Clemson for coming out with that victory. The other conference championships around the country. Middle Tennessee State, the heavy favorite, fell to Western Kentucky, which knocks them back out of the rankings. Unfortunate for that program. But Western Kentucky won in overtime, so a bit of a barn burner there in the Sun Belt, or excuse me, Conference USA Championship. Uh, American Conference Championship, Navy goes to 12-1, beating Cincinnati 38-26. Togo Smith with another fantastic performance, putting up a couple of touchdowns, pass for one, ran for one as well. So he's had a fantastic season, and Navy will be going to a BCS Bowl, so congratulations to them. Big, big game. We saw this in the Clemson matchup uh, in the last episode. We saw the scoreline, but Georgia 26 to nothing shuts out Alabama. You look at the yardage. Jalen Hurts 10 of 26 for only 97 yards passing. They struggled only 28% on fourth down and had two turnovers. So Georgia knocks Alabama out of national championship contention with an SEC championship. In the Mountain West, San Diego State beats Boise. Goes to 9-4 and with a victory there. Uh, nice back and forth game a little bit, but it's 28-14. San Diego State comes out with a win. In the Pac-12 championship, UCLA gets their second win over Washington this season. They go to 11-2 and they'll be going to the Rose Bowl. They blew out to a 27-7 lead at halftime and then even made it 34-7. Washington did their absolute best to come back, but they could never get within more than 10, and unfortunately for them, they fell 41-31 in a very nice contest there. In the MAC championship, a little bit of MAC action for you. Western Mission goes to 11-2. It's a very solid season for them. Uh, coming away with the victory, they beat Ohio 19-10. A ton of field goals in this one. One, two, three, four, five field goals in that matchup. And the big one here, the Big Ten championship. After you see Alabama fell, Ohio State also knocked from the ranks of the unbeatens. Wisconsin beats them 31-26. Wisconsin had the lead the entire game. Ohio State tried to come from behind, come from behind. They mounted a comeback 16 points in the fourth quarter, including a touchdown with 50 seconds left, but they could not recover the onside kick and Wisconsin was able to run out the clock and come away with a victory. So, number three, Ohio State undefeated. Number one, Alabama undefeated. Both losing, which is going to wreak havoc here on the BCS selection for the bowl games. So, we'll get into that here in just a second, but with the end of conference championship season does come the biggest individual award in the land. That is the Heisman Trophy, and it went to JT Barrett of Ohio State. He ran for 966 yards, threw for 2600 yards, 45 total touchdowns in 13 games is unbelievable. He's basically put up almost four touchdowns a game. Won the vote pretty handily. Deshaun Watson was second in the voting, the Clemson quarterback. So he's nudged out there, but he'll get to play for the ultimate prize. We'll see here as we go to our Around the NCAA recap. And with those conference championship shakeups, obviously some huge things taking place here in the final weeks of the season. Let's see how it rounds out our BCS to tell us who's going to be in the national championship. And it's Oklahoma. We expected them being undefeated going to the BCS national championship. But Clemson, with their win in the ACC title game, they go from number five. They go past former number one Alabama, former number three Ohio State, and former number four, your Pitt Panthers, to go to number two in the BCS and get in the national championship game. What's shocking is what falls after. Miami is third in the BCS at only 11-1. and one. They weren't even in their conference championship game. And yet they are third in the BCS ranking. So a little bit of a paradox if you're listening to this in 2016-17 uh, to Ohio State. Uh, similar, didn't make the Big Ten Championship, but gotten the uh, college football playoff. Wisconsin fourth, Alabama drops down to fifth. What I think is absolute nonsense, though, is Ohio State losing by five points to a team that was also in the top ten, and your Pitt Panthers losing to the team that's now in the national championship game. We dropped to tenth. How we're behind LSU is beyond me. We should still be ahead of Navy. They haven't beaten anybody this year. It's just absurdity. We should be ahead of Miami. We beat them this year. 
So the, the ranking, as far as that's concerned, is absolute hogwash that we've dropped down to 10th. I'm really not happy about that. I mean, we're still a top 10 team, which is fantastic, but I just think we're getting very heavily disrespected uh, by the, the computers and the bowl selection committee, as well as the rankings. I mean, the regular rankings have us 10th as well, so I just think it's a little bit ridiculous. So you can get, take a look here at the bowl games. If there's a particular matchup you want to see the records on because your favorite school, feel free to pause it and take a look. But we go through nothing too exciting. We will get to our bowl bid as well as the... Uh, uh, BCS bowl bids as well, but we take a look some some good games there Notre Dame West Virginia should be a fun one But we hear back regarding the Pitt Panthers bowl bid and we get the chick-fil-a bowl Against seven and five Vanderbilt. It's absolute Disrespect that this is the opponent. They're putting us up against. I mean it it's Vandy. They had a horrible season They're four and four in the SEC. It's like the seventh ranked SEC team we're the third-ranked ACC team just behind Clemson, who, of course, in the national championship, and Miami, who got a BCS bowl bid. And we get the Chick-fil-A bowl against just a not-good opponent. It's really upsetting, to be honest. It's disrespectful, and, you know, it shows what we need to do next year. Hopefully, we obliterate Vandy here in this game, and then what we got to do next year to, to improve from that. But Capital One Bowl, LSU, Penn State should be a great game. Outback Bowl, we got Texas A&M there. Rose Bowl, Wisconsin as the Big Ten Championships against UCLA, the Pac-10 champion. Fiesta Bowl, two at-larges. You got Miami versus 9-3 and three TCU because we got robbed because they'll only let two teams from one conference into these BCS bowl games. So we get robbed as far as that's concerned. Sugar Bowl, you got Georgia, SEC champions against Ohio State and at-large. Orange Bowl's got Bama and Navy, both as at-larges. Navy, of course, uh, the group of five at-large. And then your national championship game, is Clemson against Oklahoma. Herb Street is taking the Tigers. So a little bit shocking there to take the team. I guess it's battle tested over the undefeated number one team in the land. Number four offense, number three defense for Oklahoma. Clemson, number six offense, number 13 defense. So, I mean, you can clearly see these are two of the best teams in the land. I think the tur turnover differential is going to decide it. We'll see who comes away with the victory. Let me know who you think is going to win. But for your Panthers, they are going to be taking on 7-5 and five Vanderbilt. Not the most glamorous of examples, but we do have some, some hatred in our hearts for them because, number one, they, they spawned James Franklin, who's now the head coach of Penn State, so we don't like him. And number two, they gave us uh, Kevin Stallings as the Pitt basketball coach, and he's been an absolute abject failure so far, so we don't like him for that either. And I don't know what Herb Street is on, but if you take a look, Vandy, number 113 in scoring offense in the country, 102 overall, 48 defense. We are the number two scoring offense in the country, and he is picking Vanderbilt. I don't know if they're just trying to give us bulletin board material or what is going on here, but it's absurdity that they're picking us to lose to Vandy. I can't even believe it. Look at them. They've beat nobody. They beat 5-7 and seven South Carolina, 3-9 and nine squad, an FCS squad. They beat a 2-9 and nine squad. They lost to three teams that were actually 500 or better. They beat Mississippi State. Uh, in Tennessee, those are their only two wins against teams that at least went 500. That's absurd. So they've beaten nobody. They have a quarterback that can't complete passes, but he does take care of the ball. 12 touchdowns, four interceptions. Webb's their, their target there as a running back that we wish to stop. But, I mean, it's ridiculous how they're underselling this game, and I think we're going to come out motivated after that tough loss. The seniors, the guys that are leaving, want to come out with a victory. And because of that, we're predicting your Pitt Panthers 38, the Vanderbilt Commodores 20. That's the final score we're giving you. And honestly, I would have picked even a higher score, but we want to have a little respect for our opponent here and not get too excited. But 38 20 is what we're predicting. Let us know who you think is going to win the Pitt Vandy matchup. Let me know who you think is going to win the Clemson Oklahoma National Championship. It's going to be an absolutely massive matchup there. And as always, I want to just thank you guys so much for the support. Make sure we're tuning in. Some big things going on over the offseason. We'll potentially give you a chance to uh, rename one of our recruits. So keep that in mind if you've been following along and you're commenting. Uh, consistently then we'll give you that opportunity so as always guys thank you so much for watching hail to pit we'll see you in the bowl game very soon take care bye bye